So from the retention side, I mean, people hear retention. A goal is retention, right? We want to retain customers. Could you be more specific on like what your KPIs are or what that actually like means in practice? Yeah, for sure. You know, I think it depends a little on the business for uh, subscription businesses. You know, you're, you're looking at uh, new trial start rates, trial converted rates, uh, unsubscribe rates or cancellation rates. Uh, you also want to look at, you know, general kind of activity. Um, so maybe that's day seven retention, you know, day 14 retention, day 28 retention. And I think a base level that that retention metric could just be app opens or sessions or use of the product. And you, you do want to be measuring that. You want to get to a place where you're measuring retention in, in terms of the kind of core action in your product. So a little deeper than app sessions or a little deeper than just opening opening the product. Mm -hmm. So that could be viewing a piece of content or, you know, some some teams look at an actual transaction, not outside of subscription businesses, but kind of more transactional businesses. But but I think and that's the place where you want to get to where, um, you know, how many times do you just open an app uh, accidentally or how many times do you open an app and go, you know, just close it immediately where it's not, you're not really retaining those users. And so at a whole, we're kind of looking at, you know, day seven, day 14, day 28 retention, um, average revenue per user uh, as a metric of kind of like the quality of those users. And then I think you also want to think about um, retention is a hard metric to move. Um, you know, it's, it's very much influenced by kind of what your product is. Uh, and usually you can impact retention the most by really changing that early product experience. Um, also through messaging and life cycle, uh, you often want to have kind of these proxy metrics or uh, more focused metrics to kind of move those top line retention metrics. And so like drilling down a bit in terms of, you know, not looking at day seven retention, but looking at something like, did a user complete two of your core actions in the first seven days? Or did they open a piece of content? And so drilling down into those uh, uh, more focused metrics, take a step back, you, you want to make sure those metrics actually level up to your core metrics. And so proving out that that metric, that kind of, you know, two pieces of content viewed in the first seven days really impacts that core retention metric is the first step. And then you can drill down and go, okay, you know, let's focus on moving this with our push campaigns. Uh, and, and that'll always be easier uh, to really make an impact first going, day 20 and retention isn't changing. What do we do? What are we doing wrong? You know, it, you have to really drill down and understand the inputs where, where that day 28 retention metric is more of an output, right? And, and so what are the inputs mm. to, to that uh, higher level metric?